In this pocket, I have a Trinity Graphene 1300. And in this pocket, I have an Infinity 1500, both Graphene packs. So, Joshua Bardwell talked this up quite a bit when he did his battery shootout and all the data and everything. So they went up from what, 20 bucks to what is now 25. So basically they're worth about the same. All the numbers, all the stats, all that stuff is great, but how do I compare them? How do they feel? How, what was my impression of them? That's what I'm gonna tell you about. Uh, there's certain things, I haven't seen videos, videos of these two together. I've read a couple of reviews, but no videos, but I'm gonna show you right away that the Infinity is slightly not as tall, it's a little bit longer, where the Trinity one is just slightly shorter, but fatter overall. This is a 1500, where the Trinity is a 1300, but they both weigh exactly the same. I put them on my scale, and they were 170 grams. So even though it's a bigger battery, this one has more mass, and is definitely uh, heavier for its capacity, but they weigh exactly the same. Now, as far as that, the actual form, form of them, uh, must be noted because when I put them on my alien it was a little bit harder to get the CG right with this battery because it kept butting up against the GoPro where this one allowed me more space even though it's fatter because it's shorter it allows a lot more space in the top to play with the camera but in reality they both were fine I was able to get the CG I wanted with both batteries just it was a little bit harder with this one now as far as performance well they're both great batteries. You can just stop the video and call it a day. But I did notice this battery has a little bit more punch where this one has just more consistency because of its capacity. So basically, overall, I felt a little bit more punch out of the Ternigy, but very, very, very much more because it just seems like the power delivery is, is quicker. But this one, being bigger capacity battery, held just fine as well. And both of them weren't having, I was, I was having any problems with sagging or anything like that, even though I'm running 2206, 2300 KB motors with like four data uh, HQs. Um, the one thing I did notice and something I really liked about the Infinity Pack is that I'm so used to flying 1300s that I like always come down more or less at the same time with all my quads because I just know uh, with my OSD or my telemetry when I have to come down. And when I come down came with this one, I end up with more or less 3.65, 3.7 volts. If I'm if I'm careful, if, if I take it too far, I might end up at 3.5 and most of the time I'm very good with my battery. So I, I come down 3.7 more or less. However, this battery, and it was kind of a nice breath of fresh air because I'm always stressing about coming down with the battery kind of high. Coming down, landing at the same uh, time as this one would, and I still had 3.8 on the battery. So it definitely allows you fly, uh, high, uh, longer flight times, and at the very least, you don't end up draining your battery too low. Uh, but you know what? You can have either or. If you um, are considering both of these, just put whichever on the card and, and buy it uh, because they're both great. The Trinity is a little bit easier to get a hold of. They, uh, Hobby King has full distribution in the US and other big countries, so getting them is really easy. Where these, you gotta be a little bit more patient because you have to order from China and you have to wait. I waited, what, uh, four weeks for them to arrive. Uh, in some countries, it might be a problem with importing batteries, so make sure you know that you can actually import them uh, based on flying them in with their voltage and all the restrictions that we have lately. Uh, but I'm glad I got them both, that I'm glad I can compare them. If I have to put my hand in a bag and pick one of them because I'm gonna fly and I want to fly the best battery possible that day, I honestly would pick either, really, uh, since so far they're both great. As far as longevity goes, I don't know. Uh, how long these are definitely proven to last a long time many many cycles these batteries are slightly newer they haven't been on the market quite as long as these so we still have to see but i expect them both to do very well one thing to note the balance lead on the turnigy is slightly longer than that on the on the infinity i kind of prefer the shorter wire to be honest 
And as far as power delivery amperage goes, the Turnigy does have a thicker wire, but it's not much thicker. This is 12 gauge, where this is a very rare 13 gauge, which honestly I had never seen before. I usually go from 14, 12 to 10. And there you have it. How you doing, kitty? Oh, yes, I got to check the shoes.